to the opening round of the NCAA D3 football playoffs. Coach, a really hard-fought game, just a you know, great college football game. Really at the end of the day, opening thoughts on the contest today. <coughs> Yeah, I thought it was a, it was a back and forth game uh, against a really good program, a, a program we have a lot of respect for uh, in Huntington. I mean, we talked about it during the week and even talked about it today. Uh, you know, we scrimmaged them every year, and now we played them two out of the last three years in the playoffs. So, I mean, to, to have these guys play them six times in four years, I mean, there's a lot of familiarity. So it's not necessarily the X's and O's or the schematics. It's, you know, line up and play football. And uh, – yeah, at the end of the day, I felt like they made one more play than we did, and it was a really good college football game. And uh, we wish it would have the, the bounces would have went our way, but um, you know, all credit goes to them. And you, you opened the game with you know, Devin Greer having yeah. that, that strip. He returned for a touchdown, um, and then they answer right back. It seemed like they kind of always had answers. Every week. Yeah, I mean, give credit for them. I mean, it was it was like we said, it was back and forth, and. Uh, you know, their offense has been good for a really long time. Uh, and I think what makes them good is uh, that they can run the football and they can pass it. Um, and they have a good balance in offense and, and three really good backs. And Otis Porter uh, at receiver, um, you know, has had a tremendous uh, career. Uh, but, you know, they also have some other dudes too. Uh, and the quarterback stepped up and made some plays. So, I mean, again, you give credit to them. And I thought, you know, defensively, uh, they really did a good job up front. Uh, against us and uh, you know so uh, we hate that it ended this way but you know we also give a lot of credit to to those guys. Mason nine catches for 106 yards um, for you what were you seeing from the Huntington defense today? Uh, I got a lot of cover two like six boundary um, I was getting press corner safety over the top um, it's not something I'm not used to and that the offensive coaching staff's not used to um, but they were just trying to limit the big plays um, tried to limit some of the shots um, and just make us throw medium to short passes to get down the field. Um, and they did a pretty good job for the most part. Third down for both teams. Huntington was 4 of 14. Barry was 2 of 13. What was it about, I guess, Mason and Coach, what was it about third downs today, that, I guess, on both sides of the ball? Uh, I think we played a little bit behind the sticks. Um, as, as the game went on, uh, we find ourselves in a lot of third and long situations, uh, which is hard. Um, you get penalties or you get sacked and uh, put yourself in a hard situation because there's not a lot of third and long uh, plays in a playbook. So um, I, I think that has a little bit to do with it. And like Coach K said, their defensive front played really well. Um, I thought their backers and their defensive line played, played a really good game. Um, they're athletic and they're big up front. Yeah, I think the third down, Mason hit the nail right on the head. Uh, but, you know, when you're you're setting yourself up for third and long situations, that you know now guys can pin their ears back and, and come after the quarterback. And I think that's what you saw on both sides of the uh, of the ball. Uh, and both defense were able, both defenses were able to do that uh, many times when it was a, a third and long scenario. So, uh, you know, and that's a good job on first and second down. Uh, you know, and, and you know, you throw in some turnovers and some special teams uh, issues. I mean, th this game had it all today. And Brandon, from the defensive side, Huntington's got some great players on offense. Um, a couple of big plays there. What were you seeing from the Hawks offensively? Uh, well, they really tried uh, to establish a run, and they did. They popped a few good runs on us. Um, they really set up a good uh, play action deep balls to some of the guys. And at the end of the game, you could tell they had a good shot up there. and. They just made one more play, like Coach said, than we did. But overall, I was very proud of uh, the way we played defensively. We limited the, the yards on the rush that they usually have been getting. And then we've also forced them in passing downs, and we uh, got sacks off of that. But I'm very proud of my boys for the way they played. Can you talk about the freedom you all have, too? I mean, it seems like only knows what it's like to be changed. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's a big. These two are a big part of it. But when you when you really step back and look at it, and you know, our program had never talked about winning. You know, when we were losing a bunch, we never talked about winning. And then when we started winning a bunch, we still never talked about winning, because it's the process. So the message has never changed in seven years. Um, the players got better, <laughs> you know, and got more mature. Uh, you know, and. and 
you know, this is another legacy that these guys have, have left and that starts back with our first uh, ever graduating class. And those guys have been through the battles. Uh, the second ones, you know, led us to an undefeated season. You know, last year came back and, and made it to the second round again. And, and when you look at this class right here, I mean, they're 37-3 and three in the regular season. I mean, that's uh, – you're in rarefied air there. Um, there's a there's a few programs out there that can that can say that. And three straight uh, NCAA appearances, three straight home games. Um, so th they've won a lot out in the field. Uh, but but these guys, and I can say to the guy to my left, the guy to my right, and the other guys, they're winners off the field. Uh, and that's what we're most proud of. I mean, they truly are. And uh, it'll be exciting to see what the future holds for these two uh, and the other guys that are in that locker room. Um, and, and they've left a pretty good blueprint for the uh, for the uh, uh, underclassmen to be able to follow. You mentioned you got pretty much every receiver sack you have uh, in the conference. Do you want to just kind of sum up your week and where you kind of been from there? Yeah, man, I, I, uh, I've been really blessed to be a part of this team, uh, to come to this school, uh, to have the fan base that we have. Um, it's truly incredible. I came from a high school that didn't win a lot of games, and to be able to come here and win four straight conference championships and go 34 and three um, in the regular season, like Coach said, uh, it's been 37. awesome. 37, no 37, 37. No my bad, my bad. Three wins. We worked Thir hard for them. 37 and three. Um, you know, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, like Coach said, we never talked about winning. Kind of the same thing is uh, we kind of say stats are for losers. Um, at the end of the day, other people keep stats, and you know, you just try to go out there and do your job. Um, I don't really concentrate on how many catches, catches am I going to have, how many yards am I going to have, how many touchdowns am I going to have. Um, something I've worked on since I've been here is just staying patient, uh, knowing the ball is going to find me. Um, it's not always going to be a 60-yard home run ball, um, but you know the ball is going to find me. Um, and I just try to do my part. And um, from going to scoring 11 touchdowns in high school uh, to scoring 53 here is pretty crazy. Um, I honestly wouldn't have thought that it would have been anything like that. Um, but I've been blessed with an awesome coaching staff, awesome teammates, um, and just part of an awesome team, man. We work really hard. We prepare really well. And it's, uh, it's definitely helped us prepare. And we've been very successful. So it's awesome. Um, I'm definitely going to miss it. Um, you know, Hopefully, I can come back to some games. Hopefully, I'm you know, not free to come back to some games. But uh, hopefully, I can come back to some games and uh, watch these guys, man. I'm, I'm so proud of the way. Uh, we came from start to finish, um, and I think the future is nothing but bright for this program. Brandon, over your past four years, defense has been pretty decent, man. I mean, it's been unreal. This, this year, I think we ranked second in the league in sacks, or second in the country in sacks. Just kind of talk about the way that this defense has been built over your past four years here and kind of what the mentality was on the defensive side of the ball since you've been here. Uh, ever since day one when I came in, uh, Coach K and Coach Masters, Coach Smith, all the defensive guys, they established this mentality of just being physical tough, physically tough and going out there and just executing the best way you can. Um, plays happen, you know, there'll be a big shot and they might catch it, they might not. But you got to play the next down. The next down is the most important down of the game. And so our mentality is that that next down is going to be our best play. And we're going to focus on each and everything that we have to do. Uh, defensively, overall, we've been really good at stopping the run and we pride ourselves over that. And so that sets us up for opportunities to get a good pass rush, do our stunts, and, and get back there and really get after the quarterback, which we've been blessed to have some good athletes out there in all phases of like the defense to go out there and, and go get the quarterback. So for us, it's just been stop the run and then let our pass rushers go get it, and our defense in the back end, and go, let them go be ball hawks, get interceptions, and they've done a good job with that as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, just going back to what Mason uh, has said, I mean, uh, you know, I thank God for bringing me and my family here uh, to Barry. Um, you know, the, the the nice thing about being a coach is, you know, you get you get to stay, uh, hopefully, you know, and, and you know, each year you're replacing some dudes, but uh, you know, it's it's a blessing to be a part of this school. Um, to be a part of this program, uh, I know for myself personally and our and, and, and my family, uh, you know it's tough to say goodbye to to guys like uh, Brandon and Mason, um, but we just have an incredible culture here that uh, 
you know, we'd like to continue. And uh, that has started long before these guys came. But, you know, they have not um, – uh, I think at the end of the day, these guys have, have, have even took it to the next level. Um, so it would be exciting to see the future. Um, you know, we appreciate the uh, from the administration on down, and Mason mentioned the fan base. I mean, I think it's one of the best atmospheres in NCAA Division Three, and uh, that doesn't uh, – we don't ever want to take that for granted. So we appreciate all the support and, and love we've received uh, from the top down uh, here in the Barry community and the Rome community. Uh, and we're looking forward to next year.